Summertime temperatures continue, but as you can see, the coverage for showers and storms, that's a little bit more limited here. Some drier air pushing into southeast Georgia and northeast Florida. Meteorologist Richard Nunn with the Weather Authority update. We're watching those thunderstorms here into southeast Georgia and the rain moving offshore from northeast Florida. That's going to come to an end at about 6 to 8 o'clock this evening. And then three areas that we're watching. Let's start with the one first closer to us. That's a 10% chance. Deeper into the Atlantic, a 20% chance. And then we have the one that's just to the north of Venezuela. That's a 10% chance. All of those chances are weak and we're watching those and I suggest you do the same. 6 to 8 o'clock will be about the end time here for the showers and that's quicker than what we've seen over the last couple of weeks here and part of it is because we're seeing an overall dynamic flow here from the southwest, less sea breeze interaction and it's the sea breeze that brings some changes here to the forecast. Matter of fact, we'll see better chances across our inland areas because the winds turning onshore that picks up here starting Wednesday and a pattern that continues really all the way through the end of the work week. Now, as far as those rain chances locally along the 95 corridor and the beaches, as little as 20 to 30 percent, but we will see them increasing across the inland areas, Putnam County, Columbia County, anywhere near Highway 301 to I-75. Heat indices continue to climb, and it's possible that we could see some heat advisories this week, and as temperatures will take us from the lower 90s this week, approaching the mid, even some upper 90s as we look ahead to Sunday and the start of the upcoming work week. Your weather authority forecast is always a click away at News for Jacks, a shout away on your favorite devices.